Okay, here we've arrived at the Clarence Brown Conference Center for the Southern States Wood Turning Symposium. Here's the registration table. Some show and tell. I'll look at this closer. Here we are at the Instant Gallery. That's all right, thank you. Here's a posting of the demonstration schedule at one of the doors. Let's walk down the hall and peek in on a few of these uh, demonstrations here. We've got just a few more minutes before this one starts, so we'll have a few empty seats, it looks like. Robert Lyon doing spindles. And during that time, I taught ceramics and glass blowing, and uh, spent about um, 25 years teaching sculpture, and that's what uh, I uh, finally finished up uh, kind of doing. And so I, I come to wood turning a little, from a little bit different place. Um, I'm looking for different ways to uh, to kind of experiment and use wood to uh, express ideas that I have. I'm going to just show you a few images. And so here's the hand wheel to the lathe and um, my bench and, that I built. 1,500 and square feet. And so that, that panoramic view gives you kind of a look at the lathe. So when I first started turning, I was trying to figure out what in the world it was that I was going to turn. And um, so I, I saw some old lobster buoys that I picked up many years ago. Back. I get the front, so it flies off. I catch it and I get you to sign it. <laughs> and in all the demos I've done, I've yet to throw a piece of wood off the lathe during the demo. That's good. Pro probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> Words to live by. Well, uncarved, so the little ones, and you can make them any size, you can make them any color. Here's another batch of ornaments that are not hollowed and they're glued together. But they're carved just like pulling on it. You know, there's nothing to grip anyway. Then they just pull it and pull it. I go, how about trying that? Well, there you go, guys. I'm done. I'm going to hold. What gives me the, my tool control is the way I hold my piece. So the way I hold my piece. I'm going to hold this kind of like a pencil. And my other hand is, I'm going to brace my thumb on here. So my hand is always working in tandem. So I kind of think of it like a three-legged stool. I'm resting on my uh, pinky or and ring finger over here, kind of bracing on that. You can tell it. You get a bit of eye movement. Here's my good buddy Peg Schmidt, taught me how to do coffee scoops. She's one of the vendors here. Peg, tell me a little bit about what got you interested in wood turning. Well, when I first started doing turning, I did a charity project in Connecticut, and I kind of did a chest set using an old drill press and made all the chess pieces and was able to make a $350 donation to an AIDS hospice that really needed the help at the time. This was almost 20 years ago. So I got hooked then and when I moved back to Georgia I bought a Harbor Freight lathe for $250. Bucks. It was the best investment I ever made. My friend said, I made it at the kitchen table. My friend said, you know, you can make a bowl with that lathe. And I said, no, you can't. He said, go to Georgia Wood Turner. So I went to the meetings at Highland Hardware way back when we were still there. And I sat there for six months, dumbfounded. But I knew that I was hooked then. So ever since that time, I've been a wood turner. Such a deal. Thanks, Peg. Transfer this center line across the bottom of the seat. Can you get 
over 40, your eyes, for some reason, aren't as good as they used to. Turn it on. Here's a stool made by Greg Pennington, and it went at the auction. Turn the thing sideways, uh, Jesse, so we can see the side profile. Went for $300. <laughs> Here we are in the vendor area. This is not nearly as big as the the American Association of Wood Turners Annual Symposium, but it's it's smaller and intimate. You get to see see all your friends uh, from the region, and the same vendors tend to come every year, so it's uh, it's a lot of fun. So we'll get closer to some of these here in a moment. Here we are at the AAW booth. Linda Ferber, the Projects Director at AAW, representative, and sharing information about AAW. Okay, here we are at Doug Thompson's booth. Doug comes to this this symposium every year, as well as the Turning Southern Style up in uh, Dalton. And Doug's turned his hobby of tool making into a, into a business and makes some of the best best wood turning tools out there. One of the vendors sells a robust lathe. New depth gauge tool he's selling. Okay, here's my favorite wood vendor, Big Monk Lumber. He's been coming to these regional symposiums for a number of years. Here's Pete. He and his wife come down twice a year. This one in southern uh, southern states and turning southern style. And here's the best wood booth. They're the manufacturers of the Willard. Red Master. They do high quality spindle adapters. Victor and his wife Sharon. The stroke on this, now you can see this, this is where that stop is in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I've taken the piece that's in there, this is now set to do the female threads. They are at, at lunch before the auction. Sandwich lunch. Be followed by auction and you can see it's a fairly intimate group. You get to meet new people at the tables. One of the nice things about regional symposiums. Here we are at the booth of Ken Rizza's Wooden Wonders. Ken, you know, is the one that brings you those CBN wheels that are Remarkably inexpensive price. Not a necessity, but very nice luxury. It brings a smile to your face. CBM wheel. 